And this process of spreading seeds away from the parent plant is called seed dispersal. There are many means of seed dispersal. Let's learn about them. Wind. Some plants have very small and lightweight seeds. Such seeds are spread or dispersed by wind. Small and light seeds fly away with wind to distant places. Seeds can float on the breeze or alternatively, they can flutter to the ground. The classic examples of these dispersal mechanisms include dandelions, which have feathery pappas attached to their seeds so they can disperse to very long distances. Maples, which have wing seeds, flutter to the ground. An important constraint in case of wind dispersal is that a lot of seeds must be produced by the plant, as likelihood of a seed landing in a site suitable for germination is very less. Water. Many aquatic and some terrestrial plants use seed dispersal through water. Seeds can travel for extremely long distances depending on the specific mode of water dispersal. The water lily is an example of such a plant. Water lilies' flowers make a fruit that floats in the water for a while and then drops down to the bottom to take root on the floor of the pond. The seeds of the palm trees can also be dispersed by water. If they grow near oceans, the seeds can be transported by ocean currents over long distances, allowing the seeds to be dispersed as far as other continents. Mangrove trees live right in the water. Their seeds fall from the tree and grow roots as soon as they touch any kind of soil. During low tide, they might fall in soil instead of water and start growing right where they fell. If the water level is high, however, they can be carried far away from where they fell, and the mangrove trees often make little islands as dirt, and other things collect in their roots, making little bodies of land. Animals can disperse plant seeds in several ways. Seeds may get attached to animal fur. Birds and animals can consume seeds which are dispersed by means of waste removed from their body. Birds and mammals are the most important seed dispersers, but a wide variety of other animals, including turtles and fish, also can transport seeds. Ants. Ants carry seeds into their colonies and feed on some of them and leave some seeds in an underground chamber and there they can germinate into new plants. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and share this video. And if you want to see more fun videos, you can hit that subscribe button. You can also follow us on Facebook and Instagram for more content. Bye-bye.